again. Oh, what, you don't have more important crud to do than bother me? Hello. I've a task for you, actually. Hello, Ratatoskr. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non-sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. <laughs> what is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Say, have you a moment for another piece of important business? to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatosh group whenever you're ready. Touched. But since you mention it, there has been one in my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. Wait. Let us look this way.
Another one already? Great! Why exactly do you keep popping up, little one? Does your boss have you spying on us? No, 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 that wasn't our intention. You must believe me, I am here solely to serve as a guide, but, but only if you want. It's standard procedure. Well, you can rest easy. We'll get these back to Ratatoska. Th thank you. And again, sorry if I offended you. I, I promise I'll be more helpful next time. Jumpy little fellow, huh? It is more clear. If you say so. Master Kratos, a spectacular job. Keep it up and you'll become an expert in no time. I can't tell if he was patronizing or if that was just plain sad. Both. Master Kratos, what an excellent job you've made of it. I do not need your encouragement. Oh, oh no. I've offended you. Oh, no. I think you hurt his feelings. Got it. I'm back. Don't mind me. I know you don't want me around. I did not say that. You don't need to. The boss sends me out the most often, and I know why. I'm unbearable. That's why you hate me. You are not my enemy. You are irrelevant. A stranger. So, you don't despise me? I do not feel one way or the other. That's honestly kind of a relief. I mean, yeah, you're a stranger to me too. Why should I care what you think? Now you understand. Fantastic, Master Kratos. I'm glad to know we do not care about each other. Get bent! I don't know if that was necessarily the best lesson, but, uh, what do I know? Ugh! <laughs> 
I believe that's the last of them. And that's the last of them. Spectacular work. I guess. Not that I care. You mean nothing to me. Nothing at all. That's, uh... That's great, friend. You're not my friend. Goodbye. I love you. Good gracious. The boss is going to want whatever lead wound you have, so, you know, hit the chime on the My goodness, you've been a busy god, haven't you? You found all of them! <sighs> what else is there? Here's what I found. What a rambunctious bunch! All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. Thorough job, my respect. You thought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah, to alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh, that was awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about, what was it, not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness. I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. Anyhow, was there something else you wished to talk about? <laughs> Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty...